Hello everyone, this is Rachel Cassandra with Kizomba Community, here to do an interview today with... Jerry Aristil of Danka Kizomba. So Jerry, how did you get started dancing? Well, I started dancing by taking classes uh, throughout New York City and started going through a couple of socials. I learned my basics and after that I developed my own style and uh, just basically just incorporated what I know and created, uh, added, you know, extra steps to my style and people know me as Jerry GQ, so that's my style, Jerry GQ, I'm different. Okay, and so the first dance that you did was Kizomba? Yeah, the first dance I did was actually Kizomba, but I did dance bachata and salsa before that. So Kizomba came about from just watching everyone else and just going out to the city and seeing how the different steps and the different movements, the undulations and uh, the rules that are with Kizomba. It's not like anything else. So it was definitely challenging and basically fell in love with it ever since. Great, okay. Yeah. So how do you explain Kizomba for people who have never experienced it before? Okay, Kizomba is basically a very formal dance, and as I know from doing my research, uh, it's a dance from uh, basically uh, the Angolan with Kizomba. It's, it's very sensual, it's not too many tricks involved, it's very, uh, your basics are very important. I always stress to practice your basics, master your basics, and everything else will fall into place. And for the beginners, do not get discouraged. No. Kizomba is a journey. Take your time, take classes, and everything else will fall into place. So speaking of your classes, how do you decide what you're gonna teach, what your approach is gonna be? Well, basically what I decide how I'm gonna teach is from basically of history of dancing with the students. Uh, I basically, um, see where they're at as far as the, the basics ones, basic twos, you know, voltas, everything. Now, depending on how I teach is how they perform. So mm -hmm. if, uh, if I see that there's an improvement and they're picking up steps really quick, then it's easy to go on to the next movement. Mm -hmm. But what I do stress is not to move forward until you complete what you've known. Okay, do not rush anything. Take mm -hmm. your time, practice, mm -hmm. practice in the mirror, do what, have, what you have to do, record yourself. It will come. Kizomba is a journey. Do not rush it and do not get discouraged. Oh, I love that message. Yes. Okay. Right. So how do you get the word out about your classes that are happening out on Long Island? Well, what happens is um, Facebook, Instagram, um, through socials, um, I have a team of Don Cookie Zumba, uh, we're based on, uh, I teach actually in Valley Stream uh, at Micheline Studios. Hi, Micheline. <laughs> um, every Thursday from 6 to 9. So it's the beginners, now we have the improvers, and we have Simba. As, we, as I explained before, that Simba is basically a bazook and Simba mixed together becoming, forming Kizumba. So I pretty much teach all three, and I hope to see everyone soon. <laughs> awesome, and of course we also have you on Kizomba Community. So you would say basically your uh, main thrust for getting people in is online. Social media, social media works. <laughs> All right, Rachel awesome. <laughs> um, so what does it mean for you to be part of this growing Kizomba Community here in the United States? I feel it's awesome. I feel as though if everyone in the Kizomba Community gets together and puts egos aside 
and we form uh, socials together and we, as the leaders, the, the instructors come together and form, especially in New York City, and put something together, it's gonna help the community continue to grow because the more we come together and not separate ourselves, the more the word is gonna come out and then the more people see that we are more of a community and that we're in harmony instead of divided, mm -hmm. then more people are gonna see that and it's gonna, they're gonna feel welcome. Oh wow, Kizomba, we wanna learn. Fantastic. All right, well thanks for being with us here today, Jerry. Uh, we're going to give you some more information about how to get in touch with him and find his classes. For more videos like this and to get connected to Kizomba all over the United States, check out kizombacommunity.com. Thanks, guys.